What's going on, guys? How you doing? I'm Knuck Reviathan, as always. And, uh... <clears throat> They were checking out the game called Alters. is basically like Necroverse, just the game. Uh, this game I have been trailing for about a little over a year now. And this game is primarily about a guy goes to a planet, something happens where it just makes it possible where all the timelines connect. And their main goal is to try to leave the planet and restore back to their timelines. And they... This one guy just happens to meet a ton of versions of himself, all born a different life. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go check it out right now. Uh, we're actually gonna pop it up, because it's called Alters. Now, I've been trying to get into this game for a while, so hopefully it works out. I'm hoping it definitely is on time, because it does look like a great game so far. Bring it up. Here. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So far, so good. Anything saying certain flashing. This demo version is not the full product. It's still in development, guys. Which are basic information along time. This by the way, the guys, this is not a promotional video. This is strictly a review of the demo and what what's to come. So I am not getting paid for this when it comes to by the company. I am simply reviewing it and putting it back on YouTube and other things as well, along with Twitch. Pretty standard licensing so far as well. Not bad. Flaws, okay. UTR, it's pretty normal. It's all pretty normal. Access to your data reflects a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty standard signing your life away kind of thing. Also protect you and your and the company itself. You can't be sued. You can't do any kind of extra thing or any kind of extra clause or suits. Yeah, no, I get it. HDR. I'm not gonna mess with that yet. I don't know how it's gonna be, but we're gonna turn the brightness up so I can see. Because your your man's blind. Your boy's blind. A little loud. We put dialogue to E5 cinematics. We're gonna go look. there. Speakers? No, headphones, man. Alright. Accessibilities, controls, graphics, gameplay, sub show subtitles, the only dialogue hide. No, let's do all of it. Yep. Units, feet. Uh personally when I play games I play in meters. Um just what it is. Localization, I prefer the twenty-four hour clock. Just so there's no confusion if I quickly glance at it. Show set, and uh, yeah. Looks pretty good to me. New story, here we go. It's already added to my wish list, don't you worry. We don't really know. But we sense it. There is a sister ship to our life. Where tank which takes a total different route. Where the sun burns behind the islands. Thomas Transformer. How did I end up here? My whole life. All its ups and downs led me to this place. Quickly get rid of them. Far from home, 
far from anyone. You guys can enjoy the complete experience. I just wanted to intro a journey my, uh, whose route is unknown. Character there. the destination out of sight. So I'm not blocking in the screen. You can see the full of everything. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Or was there ever another way? It's a collection of canon events, my friend. All now, that makes it all you. Heading for the unknown. I can't really tell. Is this the end of the road? Perhaps. Or is it yet another branching? I'll see this. Water looks like gasoline's in there. Got the iridescent look to it. The prologue. So far as kind of starting like far point. Okay. Run on cameras. All right. So far, so good. Interesting. No jumping. Make our way and just beeline up. I'm not sure if this is a time demo or not. We're just gonna run right straight into it. That's an emergency flare from my capsule. I should look out for those. I don't like there's not a jump button yet. I do like the landscape though, the sky the box is really well done. Smoothing clouds. I can run now. Hello. You read me? This is Jan Dolsky. I've landed safely, but I think my capsule went astray. Huh. Maybe the radio's broken. Perhaps. Jumping yet, but there is climbing. Oh, no, 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 it's the captain. Shit. Oh, damn. Looks like I'm the captain now. Deceased. Let's go. Look at me, look at me. I'm the captain now. Not much I can do for her now. Oh, I gotta, I gotta find the others. <sighs> you didn't even try to salvage anything from it? Like, I get it, that's kind of like... These pods are basically, like, caskets, but you're not gonna try to salvage anything from that? At all? And then maybe bury the body? She didn't crash. The capsule I guess we'll come back. Looks like she died inside of it. I don't get it. I do like how like it just immediately starts, like you're just crash landing and then like you gotta figure out what happened. I like I like that. So it's kinda like you're slowly trying to fit all the pieces together. Oh, 
school base. There it is. Whee! Look at that. Dolsky here. At Bree. Anyone copy? Oh, it's uni wheels. Me, I've located the base. I'll try and get down there. Alright. Moving the Atlantic closer to the drop off point. Let's go. I gotta keep moving. Dead? No way. No survivors. It's like Mars. Why? Um, was that a uh, Martian? A movie Martian almost. Makes no sense. That's crazy. It's so beautiful, though. Even though it's like devastating, like apocalypse and all this like crazy going on. What the hell? Oh, shit. It's rising fast. I gotta get to the base. How the hell do I get over there? Is there a pocket over there? There is a pocket. Just slide in. Or, you know, no jump, I guess. The game is a little restrictive, like, there's barriers everywhere, like, there's no, you can't fall off the map or anything yet. They did that on purpose, though, so there's not gonna be any bugs or glitches on upon death. Which is smart. Which is smart to make it a little restrictive, but, you know. Yes. And all gamers are, we want complete freedom. Quick. Come on. Ah, yes. Oh, that was the padded rubber room. Let's go. Every VT we're petting zoo. The padded rubber room. Hello? I don't like I'm immediately changed out of it. They didn't Anybody show here? like him. Okay. Airlock down the surface. For a moment, I hope Just someone go. else made it. Storage. The metal's already here. It would appear that someone's out here. Find the communication room. I need to find the comms room and get help. It's right there. It's right there. So I gotta go left and up somehow. I'm guessing this is a ladder. Alright. That's a navigation. Ooh. Okay, system is offline, which means I have to bring that back online. So this is where you can build, expand. So you can just have all this area. That's really cool. It's very, uh, very small though. Wish I could make get a bigger wheel. We are going to reinvent the wheel, boys. This one's for the boys. We're gonna reinvent the wheel. Alright. Oh, wrong button. There we go. That's an interesting way to go up. What is this? Like some kind of synthesizer. Or like data core. Communication tower. Hello? Hello, can Trying anyone hear me? Okay. Mayday! Mayday, anyone?
This is the new captain speaking. Great. Um, yeah, uh, this is the new captain of the mission speaking, Don Dolsky. Corporate ID 4672. Oh, so I'm not in a part of, the former I'm part of a company. So this isn't in like a government or anything. This is like not sanctioned. This is like corporate sanctioned. Got it. Hello? Can you get me out of here? Imminent danger. Short time remaining. How much time? How much time? What's going to happen? Talk to me. What's the danger? Uh huh. So I'm screwed. No, 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 no! Don't you go all fuzzy on me. Proximity. Useless quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? To the star? I don't even think I'm planning on escaping a star anytime star soon. Will come and, and burn this planet, and I, and I just have days to escape. Is that right? Huh. All right. Perfect. I have until sunrise. I need to find those captain's logs. Have navigate find logs. Gather six metals outside. Journey instruction prepared for your journey. All right then. Going down. Oh, hello. Go to sleep, just let it happen. Just, I'm gonna be comfortable if I'm going down. Twenty-four hours. There's not much of a radiating radiation outside, as we can tell. Well, she was an auto sensor. But there's not. It's fine. Find my way outside. Airlock. Can't teleport there, can I? It's fine. I went the wrong way, didn't I? It's fine, I'll go this way. Here's the airlock. Warning radiations at night are deadly. The exit the base is currently not permitted. You need to rest as a captain tomorrow. You just want me to go to sleep? How can I sleep in this much tension? Okay. Wake up at six. Good seven. Seven sounds good.
Alcatraz. Must find six metals. There's gotta be something that like he was off or something that makes metals, right? It's like glow fucking orange. Got it. Aha! I discovered a new element! Oh, it actually advances the time? That's interesting. Huh. Well then. Don't like that. This game's starting to already feel like... Almost like uh, Metal Gear Survive. And I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. I enjoyed that game too, which I might actually re download that. But, however, comma, I need to build a workshop. Build workshop. Uh, we will put you in. So I don't have to move too far. <laughs> Scanner. It's in Q. I had to learn to kind of In queue, full time, one minute. The rag item in the room. Do I have what I need to do this? Two metals, right? I have two metals. How do I start it? Instruct and prepare for the graph scanner. Okay. Um. Whoa! That was trippy. Find the organic deposits in here. I can do that. So 
that's where you see smoke. I saw blue smoke. Or here. Somewhere. Go there. I see it. No time to waste. It's a speed run, boys. Climb. Uh, acquires a cook. Okay. This quantum nav system isn't that useless after all. Imagine that. They just happen to be the right minerals I need. Except. I should look for organics here. Scanner allows you to find resources and deposits.
Huh. I don't understand what to do. Interesting. So as soon as the radiation hits, and if I'm not on the ship, I just perish immediately. That's good to know. I was just trying to figure it out, because I was like, what do I do? to get more metal again. Okay, cool. So that all wasn't saved. That's cool. Luckily I remember everything.
going to have him for a sprint. system isn't that useless after all. Bird was sending us. Except... Smoke. I should put four organics here. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the scale laws and deposit the place the actor probes and just discover the connection on the ground right Just find the deepest spot of the deposit.
I became tired. That's wild. I went out to find resources, and I found a cave full of something. I think it might be... Rapidium. Rapidium, huh? You hear me? I think I found Rapidium. Oh, I'm damn sure. I feel it. I feel my bones. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, what else could it be? Test it. Test the Rapidium? How would I do that? A blueprint? The womb. A womb. You want me to build? A womb? Good. We have build an actual womb. Who are you? Of course, no answer. The womb, huh? The womb. We shall make the womb room. A DNA sample, huh? I guess it makes sense. Rubidium speeds up organic growth. Go boys. Let's see what happens. Here goes. In a sample. Pidium. <laughs> I'm sorry to worry this wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> oh. oh. Of course. <laughs> what else? Oh, a sheepy. Oh. You need a name. I think I'm gonna call you Molly. You mean Dolly? <laughs> okay. Can I pet the sheep? I can pet the sheep, can I? Oh Hi, hell Molly? yeah! Ten out of ten. I can pet the sheep. Fight, do you? Best game of the year. Pet the sheep. Somewhere else. I don't remember where the bed is. Hmm. 
the spores were next to there. Is it not? Maybe it's one more floor down. There it is. Lap. Day three. Seven days until sunrise. Jeez. Send me out. Business. Then build a cage. No, it's not. Come on. This one. Build a kitchen. Damn it! Day four. Oh, I don't run out of energy this time. Be somewhere around here. Hey, that looks like our ship's cargo drop. It's filled with the crew's personal items, including my stuff. And sure, hell yeah. Yeah, this is one of the things they told me to take on the mission. I told you to strictly bring a band shirt and trading cards. Objects that trigger good memories. I mean, I guess. When you put it that way. Typical corporate bullshit. There it is. I'm the Papa. I'm the Papa Necro. Oh, it's everywhere. Nice. Dig, 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 dig. Hell yeah. Case while I'm here, might as well grab these two. Hopefully, it doesn't drain.
place is going to be stacked. This is like while I'm using the raritanium or whatever, like rapitanium. It's going to like distort my DNA and I can just create more versions of myself for crewmates. Is that what they're getting at? Build. Kitchen. I think they said six. sample provided was a little sheep. surprising but it worked I think I cloned a sheep <laughs> hello I don't like they said you that hear me I, I have a sheep on board you're responsible for two lives now yes we sure did yeah. Now that I'm a real hero, I could use some real assistance. You're in imminent danger. Only oh, for time remaining to solve it. That doesn't sound good. I know that. But I'm just a builder. I'm, not I'm just a builder. I'm like Steve. By myself. I'll just go fuck myself. Isn't this command? Isn't this also the command center? Hold on. Best engine. Let's give it another go. My luck to be stuck in a junkyard. Alley Corp. Hey, you still there? I really need your help. I can't get out of here. I did everything according to the manual, but there's a malfunction I can't fix. I just don't know how. 
Okay. Only the captain has access codes to the quantum computer. Okay. Man, that was easy. All right, then. What is this? Mine records. Whoa. Hold up. What's going on? Point A to point B. Select life. Early childhood memories. From the very start. Let's delete the start there. Um, let's see. Childhood. Mining town. Okay. Being a mine town, living off with a drunk. Fifteen year old turning a blind eye. Okay. Wishing to escape. The exams are hard and dead one. Crossroads. Too far from home. This drug is fucking electric moogaloo. <laughs> to say goodbye and just, oh my god. Do me a Hell yeah. Get. Mom perished. Meeting Lena. Oh no way, that's wild. So I'm literally making different necros. Like, I'm hand manually distorting necro time physics and changing canon events to make new necros. That's wild. Okay. Leaving the university. Okay. Purgatory. Nine to five. So which one's the canon event? Is that a dream house with the wife? Crisis hit. Oh, I lost everything. I don't. I had a went from a dream house to losing everything in less than two years. That's so shitty. Back up the hill. Link. 
Red lights in your eyes. Constantly. Oh fuck, I missed a Christmas. Right about the bride is in the house. This is the country square too. Fuck. Asking her to stay. Oh no. Hero man, Project Doll. That's it. Select the life event. So it's got to be something in my early childhood of like changing to get into uh, school somewhere. So it's probably gonna be. Moving together, no. Meeting Lena, no. Doing it for her, no. Late saying goodbye, seasonal job. Too far from home, moving away. Crossroads. Probably a crossroads, right? How did they get it and what for? Okay. Hey, I checked the quantum computer. What do you want with it? What does it do? What exactly will be branching? You have life choices. What? You what? Is that your whole answer? You're about to create new yous, homie. We're about to mess with the timelines and make new necros, baby. <laughs> I alter what? Okay. I I'm ready. Have... Okay. You mean as in? Okay, wait a minute. You're not suggesting I use oh, Rapidium yeah. to create a someone. Yes. To alter their mind. That's uh, not what you're saying, right? No. I'm about to change a timeline. Bring them All to right. you. How about my other options? Stop prolonging the inedible. Make another necro. I don't have other options, do I? Initiate the branching sequence. About the branch, baby. <laughs> so which one, instead of making me a jack of what? all trades, a master of Why none? What makes me a technician in building machines? Well, I gotta fix that engine. How do you find me an engineer? You're about to learn today. Is what the branching is about? Hell yeah! I'm about to make engineer necro. I went from jack of all trades, necro, to technician, necro. Bam. Alternate. Do it. Make another necro. Sky, I'm not sorry.
altars. Honestly, I feel this is a better Martian story. This is an ass. Instead of just one dude alone trying to find a way out, they're like, yeah, you know that rare material out there? Guess what? You could bring other timelines here and just making clones of other timelines. <laughs> can alter your decisions, your canon events, make Necros come to you. That's amazing. Monkey Necro. Okay, so this man, let's check out this whole guy's timeline. Okay, so he went from. Let me straight. He went from the big change from like my timeline to his timeline, or instead of that, he got. The staying at home. Locked door, all these different things, frustration, the drunkness. I just gave this man aggressive trauma by staying home, forcing him to leave, so he saved his, he kind of like helped his mother, which is kind of fucking cool, and then it spiraled off, ups and downs, so things weren't great, but at least the mother was safe. Okay. And then rejecting the offer. Uh, so you were rejected this. Okay, so the data behind me, our job offer, da da da. Stay the job again. Please, guys. Okay. So, ejecting the mining business. His, ma his dad was a miner. Like a miner 49er. Getting raw materials and shit. Final goodbye. So his mother still dies through this sickness. Which is really still sad. That's <laughs> terribly sad. But in that he becomes a technician, starts building shit. And then he finds a mentor to help guide him. Let's go. It's not his father, but you know, it's sure as hell close enough. And then specific visits. Okay, okay. We got here. Fooled again. Fooled again? What do you mean fooled again? Fake batteries, counterfeit parts. He- the mentor was a piece of shit? God damn it! You can't win him! But at least he taught you some things. Alright, walking away. So of course it just mattered before the approaching to his- Now that he's in jail. Okay, so he went- Your mentor went to prison. It's ironic now. Uh, but what is it if you lost your job at the workshop and criminals associated with that? So they, they wanted them to work for you, and you're like, nah, motherfucker, like, I'm clean. I'm not no crook. But instead, as a turn, take a paycheck, to me around the fingers, so you think of mom, she's, uh, happy to see the good money, but I've done it. Okay, so you should decide to be a clean cut, good job, a new start. Ghost from the past. Watching the bartender around the corner of the eye, the glimpse of the foot, uh, figure watching you. I thought it was your dad. Sip the drink. Listen casually to conversations is good enough. Okay, so. Bad habits. So, you and your friends are out and laughter, enjoying the good times, and having fun, consider your time to signals when you come down. Okay. Starting financial troubles because you're, you're just acquiring all those good times. Magic trick not happening when you're stupid enough in these things. Okay. Seeing him again. Uh da, da, da. your dad comes back in your life. Project Dolly. 
And then that's where he gets back in Project Dolly because Dad comes back to life and says, Hey, there's a mining colony. They need engineers. They need technicians. And that's how he got there. Okay. Either way, so like, by rejecting going off the college, rejecting going off and being helping with the father, you still eventually end up coming here anyways due to your father help, like giving you essentially a last ditch effort job. But you have all these technician skills now. That's cool. But it's dead. It's still sad and sad though because like, your mother still suffered. <laughs> you were there instead of like your mom suffering alone. But in the end, you still had to say goodbye, which is wild. Okay, wake up your altar. Where is the altar? Is he in the womb room? Womb room. Wake up, Necro. Walk up. Wake up, technician Necro. Wake up. Uh, hey, hey, hey there. Sup, homie. Wow. Um, hello. This is gonna be very strange, and I'm sorry. Don't freak out. Uh, I, uh, what is this? Okay. To hear me out. Where am I? Relax, you're in a lab. You're in a lab inside the SIBA unit. Your memories might be a bit fuzzy, but relax. You're gonna be okay. So yeah. recognize the base, I think. Wait. Oh shit. Sounds different. Funny. Time. You ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Oh. oh no, he lost his IQ! But I'm like, he's book. street stars, but not book smart. You're on some meds. What? Oh so, no! So you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? I'll, I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition. Okay. He's dumb. Can, uh, but he's also a technician. Sure. No. Can you? Okay. I'm okay. Jane Cousin. Uh, my name is Jan Dolsky. <laughs> yeah, sure. You got my looks, why not use my name too? So you think you're Jan Dolsky as well? What kind of bullshit is this? Hmm? Okay. What's your role? On this is sound very confusing. Don't I'm freak out. I'm a senior out. technician. Want to tell me what your role is? I stripped Obtaining your memories your from your timeline and brought you into a is, artificial body warned, in which I just grew in this lab. So your memories are technically real, yes, but not of this timeline. It's not an experiment. This is for real. And I'm for real. So, what's going on? Well, I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it. Because it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well... Create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person, but with Repl different experiences. Replicate a timeline. Mind records. <laughs> if there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not me. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but... Such bullshit. I know. It's absurd. I thought the same, but here you are, right? Right. If I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're a alternate version of me with a different mind?
Yes, you put them. sort of. Yeah. And uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. Yes. It's just us. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, this, he's gonna not gonna like this. But it's like you die. strip me from my oh, timeline wait. that I, I was this. living in. This is not an experiment. So you can plug version. me into some artificial this body to get you health. Woke me from cryo sleep. <laughs> so I'm not even real. <laughs> because there's no one else on board. <laughs> what if there was no malfunction? Where would I be? You'd still exist somewhere. You'd still exist somewhere? Theoretically. Theoretically, at least. I just strip the memories. Wow. You bastard. I uh, just want to be honest uh, with you. I can see now what the meds are for. I can't yeah. even lash out at you. Just this passiveness. I'm just want to be honest I, with you, man. Look, this is a lot, and we'll sort it out. I promise. But trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. You can't go back to your normal <sighs> timeline, by the way. Yeah. You stay here with I me. I don't like this. This is your new life now. This is your new, well, new life now, Necro. Get ready for it. it makes two of us. <laughs> Fine. Show me the way. All right. Unbelievable. What a screw up. A three-year-old would have figured it out. Okay. In any other case, I'd say don't touch anything here ever again. But unfortunately, this is a two-man job. On my sign, pull that lever over there. Just don't yank it like an idiot. Pull it gently. Ready? One, two, three, now. Yes! <laughs> it worked! You did it. We're gonna live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. Damn. Alright. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll, guess I'll just kindly go fuck off now. I will see you later. Back to the engine room. Wrong button. This button. Down. Start the engines. What's the engines? Uh, one. Well, okay. Up. This one. Start the journey. Now automatically mine an outpost. No, no, no. In the altars tab. Food. You consume one meal each day. Meals can be prepped in the kitchen. Okay. No injuries, no radiation, no hunger. Be adequate today. I'm pissed off at Jan. He's trying. He's really irritating me. I apologize, man. I honestly, if I didn't have to rip you from your timeline and plug you into some artificial body, I wouldn't have. But I needed you, and now this is your new life, regardless if we like it or not. 
talk to the altar. Where is he? Is he at the artificial womb? Is he at the womb? You got the womb. There you are. Hello, Jan. Hello, Necro Jan. Alright. Technician Necro, hey tell me the things I need to know. I said, don't come near me. I understand you're angry, but I need to get a grip. We need to fix the comms or. I get it. You're angry. I, I would be too. But I could really use your help. You know, if we manage to get the comms room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here faster. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. It talked to me. You're pissed off at me now, but deep down, we both know you do the same thing. Really? You said it yourself. We might look alike, but we're different. Like oil and water, if you ask me, and they don't mix well. No. Maybe. But you won't last long with- Oh, he fucking justice. hates me, man. I make it without you. In a situation like this, hiding in a trench is just plain stupid. I'll tell you what's stupid. Listening to someone who created you because he needs a fucking tool. Why don't you get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit? I'm done doing your dirty work. Shit. Is there a way to go back? Before that statement? I'm sorry. Okay, craft a uh, repair kit. I'm sorry, technician Necro. I didn't mean it. Why are you referring to me as an occupation? My name is. <laughs> Only referring to them as they're like their one necessity to you. I'm sorry, this very version of me. <laughs> Alright. So I'll just figure out my own technician necro, thank you. You're lucky I'm Necro Prime. Answer the call. Figure out how to get along. Lucas? Who the Hello? hell's Lucas? Uh Mr. Dalski? Yeah, yes, I'm 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 here. Are you okay? Are you serious? I just had a choice to either die in pain or duplicate and edit myself. I'm far from okay. It's uh, called branching, the duplicating you and editing. You can branch thing. this dick. I need to know if you pulled it off. Please don't. Really? I don't want to be a tree. And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. Oh, Lucas Pena, Space Traffic Control, Orbital Substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? Uh. You have no, no choice, man. Choice. Doesn't mean I like what I did. Is this even legal? You found not. Rapidium, Mr. Dalski. We needed to act. So, we're getting me out. Give me someone higher up. What an. I went wrong with the landing. I want to talk to someone higher up. Do you have a boss? Karen mode activated. I might sound. I might sound young, Mr. Dalski, but I'm not here by accident. No offense, man. I just need to know this stunt was authorized by someone. Look, I I'm on my own here at the station. But I contacted my boss, and we're good. Nothing to worry about. You're lying. You're, you're, you're lying. 
there's no way in hell this was properly authorized and you're the only one that's talking to me about this. Have you done this before? Have you done this before? That would be hard, considering there's no Rapidium on Earth. So how did you know what would happen? I didn't know. I anticipated the outcome based on historic data. What historic data? Some old research. Nothing important. Are you lying to me again? What the hell happened out there? What went wrong with the landing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm I don't still trust analyzing you, Lucas. telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. Do you know what killed the rest of the crew? Yeah, what happened? Looks like an oxygen leak in the landing pods. No idea why, though. On all of them, How though? I survived. You're telling me who did the maintenance on these pods? You know, you're who not fucked very up. Informative. Or is this intentional? I don't like confusing assumptions with information, Mr. Dolsky. Conclusive evidence is more my thing. Is it literally what you gave me to start off with and why I'm in, even in this mess, why there's even a clone of me? Because it's assum you know, assumption information based on historical research? What about the mind records? Hmm? You're double talking yourself, Lucas. Doing in the I don't like you so far, Lucas. You're lying oh, to me. That's, um... Uh, the, the corporation needs to ensure the safety of the mission and uh, basically everyone. Uh -huh. it, it's confidential, of course. Uh -huh. And it kind of saved your life. Well. I never I consented don't to this. recall consenting to it. Well, you must have, since it's there. Maybe you didn't read your contract thoroughly. They like to put these things in fine print, you know. Oh yeah, excerpts and appendixes you don't have access to. Like, oh yeah, just slide this in there, but you don't have access. It's not a public file. It's actually a secret file that you need to have proper access to to read it, and you can't read it because you don't have that access. But you know what you're signing, right? If I don't have access to it, how am I supposed to know what I'm signing? <laughs> so, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how to do it, safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Second thing... Do you think I could see this altar of yours? I mean, you're a fuzzy screen, so... How do you know you're not talking to him right now? You're joking, right? Yes. Okay, I am. Just doing my best to deal with the situation and with him. Is he that bad? He's pissed off at me. Won't cooperate. Then I mean, how would you feel that you were stripped we'll from your timeline and plugged into a body and now deck. this is your new life? There should be a way to... Gain his trust. <laughs> you just took someone's care, memories and then maybe? just plugged them in a body. Him I wouldn't survive a life that's not his, yeah, that's and then just, just put him in a hellhole. A hellscape. This maybe is like his something. own personal hell. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. My grandma used to say, sharing is caring. I hate you, Lucas. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah. yeah, true. Actually. Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. That or what's different between the two. Memories. Of course. Memories. I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You are so spooked by them, Hand they could be events. a source of information. 
Fine. So what were your I'll canon events? <laughs> Shit, I, uh, gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry, you're in good hands. L7L. Uh, I, I... I don't like that he said that. You're in good hands. This is the last time I ever said that once that I put buckshot through someone's spine and in ready or not. Read the altar's life in the years. Okay. I already read his entire fucking life. Like, I, I read it. I, w I was there. Ow. Oh. They actually want me to go and actually read it. So here. Down at that. Up of it. I I already remember his whole timeline. Like, I don't need to reread his timeline. <laughs> Ask the altar about memories you share. Technician Necro. We have things to talk about, Technician Necro. Technician Necro, where are you? Are you in the kitchen? Yes, you are, you hungry bitch. There you are. I've been thinking about what you said. Right, we are different. We have more in common. You're right. We are different. Sure we are. Like, I got that right away, and you took your sweet time. You stood up to your I'm dad. serious. You stood up to dad. I didn't. Oh, really? And what did you do? Just I stand and watch him take it out on mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, I'd just freeze. Guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. Damn. I didn't believe it would change. I was a coward. Maybe I was a coward. Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh. So that's where our paths split. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? What Fuck do you no. Think? Huh. <laughs> yeah. That build around this merry go round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with mom. Wait, is mom is she maybe still around here? No. No. I wish she was. She still perishes in every timeline so she far. Always knew between what to me do. and you how to cheer you up hey when you were down or dad had just stormed out of the house slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room would she ask me to help her make pierogi Aww. famous pierogi pierogi oh my god i could really pig out on those i love that polish dish yeah, making them together was they're fun. like raviolis but like Mashed potato yeah. stuff in the wow. middle. Why I don't, don't know if it is mashed potato, but it tastes amazing. I think it's feta. Actually, it's, it's feta. No but still pierogies. Ingredients here. Blend. Beer and steak starch. Grease in fungi. Who 
Who said they have to be right? Beer and synthetic starch should work. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> I can pull it off. <laughs> but there's one condition. He's a potty guy. You're eating them with me. But he lost everything. You die, I die. Why not? Won't That's true. Much, I guess. It's true. All right, homie. We're friends now, all right? Technician Necro, let's prepare these said meals. Put the pierogies in the thing. Oh, I can only make one. That's fine. What's next? Pierogi in the pot. Mix it all up. Put the pierogies in the pot. We mix it all up and put it in your mouth. Sit down, we're having a fucking family meal. We're having a family meal, Necro. Here you are. The famous we are now family now. With an interstellar twist. What do you think? Damn right. Oh. <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she <laughs> had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. Right. Yeah. I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. Yeah. They were edible. You gotta but be careful with that. You remember what she it's did. It's a delicate, delicate uh -huh. thing. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, man. Aww. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Aww. Thank you, Technician Necker. <laughs> Alright, Necro Prime. Now we have to go and talk to the other. We have to talk to the altar, okay. Talk to Technician Necker. Alright. So. 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 Are we cool? Are we cool now? Cool. <laughs> Do you mean did I come to terms with waking up as tech support for my doppelganger? You might have to give me something stronger than dehydrated dumplings to wrap my head around that. Now they weren't that angry. bad. I went through a lot of trouble to make those, and they weren't that bad. You really made an effort. I'll give you that. But see, that makes it even worse. It would be easier to hit you, but eating those fucking pierogi with you, I actually enjoyed it. Aww. Are you showing feelings? Wait. He's gonna hate you this. Showing your feelings? What? No. Okay, okay. I'm showing kidding. your feelings, Necro. I understand. I, I get it, homie. Just proves how similar we are. Well, now that we got that out of the way, what's the plan? Alright. Trust it. Well, we should trust it. The corporation is supposedly on top of this, but I know better than to put my life in the hands of pen pushers. Hey. Oh, I hear you. You never know with those numbskulls. I don't fucking trust right. them. Right. So? They've been- they've already lies. lied to me. We better watch our For no system. reason. About mo about meniscus me. details. As soon as they st a corporation starts lying about very, like, meniscus details that don't even affect what's going on, you know everything they're lying- everything they're saying is bullshit. <laughs> don't trust them. Even if they lie about tiny things, they're gonna lie about the big things. They told me the crew. Leave them to this. They were the ones who told me to create you. Bastards. I buy them. Tell me you know what to do. All I know I'm is we need to get to a safe place. Then we'll improvise. Well, there's one thing you should know. This base is a resource-consuming, maintenance-heavy sucker to operate. 
Damn right. I have you to help me. That's yeah. not gonna be enough. I'll be blunt with you. Okay. If you want to survive, you're gonna need more people. People? What people? The Rapidium's there. Use it. Make more versions of me. Versions of us both, you mean? Huh. That almost sounded like we're planning kids. I need to work on your cooking skills, though. I was hoping kind of would. Can't wait to do this Actually, again. Actually, I can't wait to branch myself again. Sure. Take the bull by the horns. <laughs> Good luck keeping him happy. Oh, I'll be a happy dad, all right. Are sure. You real? Later this you. year? Right. What? Oh, okay. I thought it was like they skipped, they jumped forward. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. So this is the end of the uh, demo? So far, it was pretty good. I'm very excited. What a trip. It's not a trip. It's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we brothers or something? <laughs> we have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. Technician You're not the original Yon, but that doesn't Farmer mean you Necro. can't be important. Scientist Necro. Well, you look Dr. like Necro. me, but also not like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? You're welcome. No. You're, you're not welcome. hallucinating. <laughs> so you're gonna be pissed, but I took you from your timeline and plugged you into an artificial body that now this is your life. That's not your life. I'm be very clear. This is your life now. It's just your memories from that life. This is the new you. you. This is the new life. You live here now with me. My name <laughs> is Jan Dolsky. Damn right. I'm seeing fucking double. You should worry about that. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm excited. Really excited to play this, guys. Thank you for joining me on this demo. Uh, I'll be uploading this. And if you guys see me in the future, future Necro. Do better editing. Do better editing, Necro. <laughs> but anyways, looking forward to playing this. And uh, Alters, fantastic. We'll be creating more Necros whenever this comes out. Uh, I'm going to be contacting the company as well. Try to get you guys more sneak peeks. And I'll be following newer things that come out with this. And yeah, thanks for everyone that joined me. And see you guys on YouTube.